welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so i thought i would start oh hair on my mouth that's a great start um i thought i would start a little monthly series of sharing with you my best and worst purchases of that month because especially when it comes to designer items and luxury items i feel like it's a really good way to see if it's something that someone uses if it's good quality things like that so i thought i would do yeah like i said a little monthly series so today we've actually got a very good one because i've only got one bad purchase the rest are all good so i've kind of got a little bit of everything in here i've got clothing travel accessories i've got makeup beauty like a little bit of everything that i have literally been that i've bought this month that i have been absolutely loving so i think let's start off with like more fashiony items well this is not fashion this is like a home item i'd say and that would be my soho home dressing gown so i actually managed to get this one in bista they still have it in bista village now so i believe they are 85 pounds normally they were 51 pounds i think in bista but you can also if you're a soho member you could also get your membership discount there as well so you could get a massive saving i'm not a soho member so i got it for 51 pounds but i think you can get it for like 30 something at bista if you get if you have a soho soho home membership um and also they are retail for like £85. Nonetheless, if you can't get to Bista or you can't go, cannot get hold of them at Bista, they are worth every single penny. They are the most coziest dressing gown you wouldn't believe. I do think they're one size. I'll try and show you up close. They are literally so cozy and I just love like the minimalistic detailing and it's just got the branding there. And then with the tie belt, it's attached at the back so you don't lose it it's great honestly i have been like when i finish my work for the day this just goes straight on because it is just the most coziest thing ever and i never want to not have one of these now because that is just great i do find the sleeves quite long on me as well actually so i do just have them turned up but they're super super oversized super super cozy and worth every single penny and another fashion item that i've been loving this month and i've always really really struggled to find a good leather jacket and now i have found one i have invested in a really really good one and it was so worth it so this one is from I'm gonna hold it up there. Ducci, Dolce, Ducci. I don't actually know. And it is a cropped leather jacket, and it's just the fit of it is just incredible. It's the most softest leather as well. It's got kind of got like the baggy arms on the sleeve, which I love because I hate it on a leather jacket when the sleeves are tight and you can't layer it with jumpers. Like that really, really winds me up. Um, like I said, the leather is just the most incredible quality. I have this one in a medium and it's the perfect cropped fit. I will attach a little reel that I filmed with this jacket. But yeah, I've just reached for this so much in the month of February. I have worn it with casual outfits like joggers and stuff i've also like dressed it up with like a midi skirt there's just endless opportunities and like going into spring especially now i can like just wear this with like a t-shirt and drink jeans um so yeah i absolutely love that one and then my final fashion oh sorry that was my that was my glass straw there having a little jiggle Oh, super thirsty today. Um, my last fashion purchase of the month, which I have worn non-stop since getting it, is the Loewe Crop Tank Top. Honestly, these just go with everything. So personally for me, I decided to go for the cropped one. I just found, I did try on the longer versions in the black, grey and white. And I just found that it didn't really suit me as much as the cropped version did. And I thought going into spring, summer, I really like i mean look at me now i really do like a cropped top in the spring summer i'm really sorry i don't know what's going on with me today i cannot get my words out but anyway nonetheless it's a ribbed cami kind of like top if you've not seen it it's got the loewe sign in navy and like i said this is the cropped one so i have washed this it washes really really well sometimes i find with white tops when you wash them they can go a bit see-through this one hasn't it's like i said washed amazingly and yeah i just absolutely love it it is more on the pricier side so it is 250 pound for a tank top now i actually had a couple of um vouchers for selfishes so i didn't pay the full amount but knowing how much i have worn it i would 100 percent pay it again i'm actually like in 
I'm currently actually like trying to stop myself from buying in the black because I just love it so much. So I really want to get the black crop one as well. So yeah, you'll probably be seeing that one in a, in a haul soon, no doubt. But yeah, I just absolutely love them. So if you're thinking about it and you're not sure if the quality matches the price, then I can tell you now that you will never take it off and you'll wear it constantly. So it's 100% worth it. Now onto a bit of a miscellaneous item. So I bought this suitcase. Well... <laughs> at the start of the month and it is honestly served a purpose it has been absolutely great now you might be thinking oh that looks like a ramoa no it is not this is actually like 60 pounds from amazon and it's great it's really really like good quality it's not as heavy as the ramoas but it has got some like weight to it which i actually prefer because I pack a lot of stuff, so if the suitcase is heavy already, then no doubt I'm always going to be over the limit when it comes to like airport stuff because yeah, I pack a lot. Um, but yeah, it's such good quality. I do find, even though it's like a small cabin case, you can fit so much in it. And if you're kind of wanting like a silver Ramoa dupe, then I think it is absolutely great. For like £65, I just think you honestly can't go wrong. The wheels are great on it. They're like really, really strong. Obviously, I've only had it for a month, so at the moment, it's great. Um, but we will see how long it lasts. But yeah, I just, yeah. I'm actually even thinking of getting the medium size one of this. Um, because this is, the, like I said, this is the cabin size. So I'm thinking of getting the same medium one. Because I think the medium one is like £120. Which I think is really, really good. Because I don't really want to spend about £600 on a Ramoa case, to be honest. Um, so that was one miscellaneous item. Another one, which wasn't actually a purchase in... February but I wanted to include it because I don't think I've shown you this since I bought some extra inserts from Etsy and I use this every single day so for me I have the Louis Vuitton um, inserts and then what I did was I purchased some extra like dividers and stuff on Etsy and it's just made me use it so so much more because although I use the diary bit um, the Louis Vuitton diary but didn't have like a monthly thing it didn't have like a goal bit so yeah like I said I've added let me show you I got these inserts from Etsy and it's just some like cute quotes it's got like yearly oh sorry I just had to delete some camera footage because my memory card was full and Mr Ralph has joined me on my lap are you my February favorite actually I think you're my every month favorite <laughs> please don't do that because your breath stinks it basically adds like yearly goals i've got the dividers um it adds like an overview monthly thing as well so it adds a lot more to the louis vuitton agenda inserts i would definitely still get the louis vuitton ones every year because they're just so pretty and then yeah just get the extra etsy ones to add in but yeah i'm really really happy with it, it is literally perfect and yeah like i said i use it every single day a book suggestion is I have loved this one for so long and this is kind of like the first book that I got to like kind of start like my manifest journey and in February I have bought this one which is also just as great I've not actually finished this one yet but I have been reading it every single night before bed and yeah I just absolutely love these books I just got mine from Amazon and then the last kind of miscellaneous item is this light so if you like to take photos in the dark or you never have good lighting then get yourself one of these because honestly it's great like look at that difference it's just incredible and you can try it kind of like oh my god this made my eyes go so funny Woo! you can change the settings so you can go up you can go down and you can also go different colors so yeah, this is great for like evening photos like when you go out for like dinner if you want to get a photo or like an outside photo. Um, this has been a great addition. Even I pop, can put this on my vlogging camera if it's a bad light because um, it just clips onto like your phone or a camera and it's honestly just a life changer. Saviour? Changer? I don't know, but it's great. I think it was around £30, so it's quite expensive for a light. This is the newer, yeah, newer one. Newer, newer. I'm not quite sure probably butchering that but yeah it's from amazon so i will link that one down below and then beauty wise one thing that i have been loving which i purchase every month so it kind of counts as a february favorite is the skin and me booster so i'm still a long way away from how i want my skin to be but it is so much better i'll see if i can insert a clip 
of when I started my Skin and Me journey to what it is like now. And it is just great. So if you're not unaware, Skin and Me is a product that you basically fill out an online consultation. It gets looked at by dermatologists and they basically assign you the ingredients that you want to tailor to your skin needs. So for me, mine was my spots, like hormonal spots on my chin. Um, and I did have a few on like my cheek and forehead as well. Um, but you can do it for like anti-aging, pigmentation, I think. You can do it for... Um, brightening do you know what i mean there's so many concerns that you can do it for and this pr product is literally tailored to you so it's what they think your skin needs so no one else would be able to use this and get as good as results basically um so yeah i've just been loving it i use it every evening with um so i cleanse my face double cleanse use this wait 10 minutes then apply my moisturizer and that's what i've been doing every night and it's just honestly worked wonders and i really really love this product i actually have a code for you as well um, this is not sponsored by them at all by the way um, I have no obligation to talk about it in this video but it's just been great and I want to make sure if you want to use it then you can use my code because you get your first box for £3.50 instead of £24.99 which is incredible so if you're sceptical I think it's just worth a try for £3.50 you can obviously cancel it after if it's not for you you can potentially change your skin game but to go with that another beauty product that i've been loving is this quarterly moisturizer now for me i don't know why but i really really struggled finding a moisturizer that was good for my skin i found that if they were too rich they would break me out or i'd get like really clogged pores along my jawline um but then i'd find that my if i'd use like a oil free one then my skin would be do too dry and like it was missing like the hydration this is great i think i'm halfway through this already and it's just the most lightweight but luxurious cream it's really really nice underneath makeup as well so i use this one both in the morning and the evening and it just gives you that hydration and i am so prone to breaking out and i have not broke out by this so yeah this is a winner for me it is absolutely great you can also once you've done finished this one you can buy refills so then you can just pop a refill in so it's slightly cheaper than obviously buying for the packaging and stuff like that so i think it's absolutely great so if you are like me and you kind of have breakout prone skin combination skin then i would definitely give this a go because it is so so nice just really nourishing and yeah i just love it it's a great little pot of goodness that and oh shit me that literally just shook me up Woof. made me jump and then another product I've been loving is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So I, I don't actually use this just at night. I use this every morning and every night because it's just so nice. So I always use it before I go to sleep, obviously before night. And then I actually always put, put it on my face in the morning while I'm doing my makeup. And then it's all soaked in before I do my lip liner. And I just find that then my lips are just so like... I don't know like nourish and plump before I apply like my lip products rather than being dry um I really really like it they do have quite a lot of scents um this one's I was gonna say flavors but you don't eat them um this one's berry it's really nice and the scents are quite subtle they're not too overpowering which I also like and I think they do like coconut like and loads of other different ones as well so yeah I've really really been loving that I cannot remember the price of it but it's really really nice one thing that I would say it's kind of hard to get out like when I have my nails I was having to like dig out a bit like i've trimmed them now so like they're short but i think it did cover the spatula but i feel like i'm just not going to use the spatula every time so that's one thing that i would say it's kind of hard to get out like it's quite a hard product until you like work it down um but yeah another one i have been loving and then the last one that i have been loving is a new scent and it's definitely more on the spring summer vibes i've been introducing them back into like my I was gonna say fragrance wardrobe but that's not the right word but anyway i've been wanting to smell more like spring summary because i am just so ready for spring and this one is tom ford soleil blanc and it just is gorgeous i'm not gonna oh, i'm just rubbish at explaining um scent but it's kind of like florally oody <laughs> and like musky all at the same time I'm probably really that's really really wrong um but the reason why i wanted to share this one is i managed to get it in a smaller size which i love for carrying around in your handbag i think it's such a great travel one and also i hate on holiday when i want to take multiple perfumes and then they're like so heavy and so big whereas i'd rather just buy all my perfumes that i've got in the bottles in miniature ones as well that i can take on holiday with you pop this in your handbag and it's just great for like a little top up as and when you need it Oh, this just smells so good i think they do this in a body oil as well which i'll definitely get because this is just stunning 
so that was all my best buys of the month oh also i think this was like 36 pounds obviously it's a lot for this size but the normal size is like 200 pounds so yeah and also if you want to just like test a fragrance as well see how it lasts on you i think it's really good just to buy a little mini one so yeah i wish more fragrances did that and then my worst buy i've only got one there's no fashion pieces i've actually been really selective of what i've bought fashion wise this month which i've been very proud about but my worst buy is a homeware buy and it's from my beloved white white company but i don't know if i've just got a dodgy one but this is the first time that this has ever happened and i got the large oak moss candle and as you can see i've kind of burnt like halfway down this does not smell in the slightest and it's a strong smell like smelling it now it's like a really oody like i think it's sandalwood it doesn't does it say no it doesn't say it's a really like masculine oody smell and i had this in the fragrance oil and it was great but my broke my electric diffuser so i thought i'd get it in the candle because i just like to have a candle burning all the time and it just doesn't even smell in like our living room like at all and like usually if i've like had it burning all day and say i've popped out to the shop and then walked back in like i could brew it back and usually really smell like a candle like because it's we're only in a one bedroom apartment, do you know what I mean? It's not like a big space, so I can really, really smell it. I just can't smell this at all. And this has never happened to me with white company candles before. So I don't know if I've just got a dodgy one. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's gonna damage my love for the white company. And I probably will buy a candle again just to test. But yeah, it's really, really wound me up because I love this smell. And I do still burn it every night to think, come on. Sometimes I don't know, sometimes like the fragrance like drops to the bottom and then when you get to the end you smell it a lot, which obviously shouldn't be the case. But I don't know. So that's my worst purchase of the month, which is not bad really to only have that as my worst purchase. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this video. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do let me know if you want me to continue doing this type of series and do them at the end of every single month. I shall see you in Sunday's video which I believe is an early spring haul, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to film it tomorrow. And I'm so excited to try these pieces on because I've not tried them on yet. Um, so yeah, super excited about that one. So see you all in the next video. Bye.